Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to connect our on-premise integration server to cloud platform. So in order to do that, I have just installed uh, web method 10.11 and I have opened integration server administrator page from my browser. And here, uh, this is just on-premise instance and I also connected that particular instance from my designer as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some package and that particular package I'm going to upload that into my cloud platform and finally I'm going to invoke that particular my on-premise service from cloud workflow so that is what you're going to do so basically we're going to connect on-premise to cloud and from the cloud workflow we are going to run our on-premise uh, services this is mainly required when you have a hybrid deployment approach or hybrid integration uh, for example your customer has a web methods in on-premise and also the cloud platform but from the cloud platform you wanted to invoke some service in the on-premise environment then this will be helpful so how do we do it so for example i'll just create a simple uh, package uh, and finally we are going to deploy this into cloud as well and how do we do that and i'll just create a package and i'll say this is my demo package and i'll just quickly create a simple flow service i'll say new and demo package and i'm just creating in a main folder with the same name and then i'll just uh, under this i'll just create a folder services and then i'll just create a flow service new flow service i'll just say this one as a add to numbers and then I'm just going to call here. Uh, I'm just going to create a two input basically. I'll say that is num1, number one, and then I'll add one more input which is number two. And then finally, there will be a result for adding two numbers which I'll store it in a result field. So this is my input and output. Here I'll just going, to, I'm going to invoke add two number service which is available in a built-in package under the pub and then you have a uh, all the mathematic related operation available under the math folder and i'm going to use a add int so here i'll map my input number one to num one number two to num two and then this value i'm just i'm going to map it to my result field so whatever is not required i'll just drop it and finally what i'm i'll do is i'll just add a debug log as well and debug log is there here i'll just add that which is available in the pub flow folder whatever the result right i'll try to add that result in my debug debug log so i'll just print this output values percentage then that variable name and also i'll substitute this perform variable substitution and then i'll give okay and this num1 num2 also not record which i'll drop it as well okay so this is a result and message field is there i leave as is and i have deployed the service and i'll just try to run and show this particular service is working in on premise so i'll just add 10 with 25 so the answer will be 35 and 35 and then there is a message which is coming as output value is 35 which will get printed in our server log as well server and uh, we have uh, yeah so the new version it's coming under the log section I'm using a 10 11 and this is the value so which is printing at 9 31 pm okay so 21 31 pm output value is 35 so the value is coming now so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, configure our on-premise instance to connect to cloud and also i have connected a cloud from here this is my cloud instance so which i did a sign up in my software dot cloud and then i have added my web method io integration cloud into that particular account so this is my tenant id or tenant login or a tenant url so this tenant url we need to configure it from our on-premise instance so in order to do that what i'll do i'll just go to web methods cloud and go to the tenant connection so here you have to create a new tenant connection and this is the place you are going to configure what is your cloud environment so i'll just give some alias name i'll say this is uh, my cloud tenant environment okay so this is my alias name and username uh, which which is the username which you have used to log in into your cloud platform so this is my trial cloud uh, cloud account which i'll fill it here which i did a sign up today 
and I'll fill the password for my trial account. So this is your cloud login. Okay, so basically this is the environment how I used to login, right? The same uh, username and password I have to give it here. And cloud URL, you just copy the cloud URL and put it here. And then save it. So I'll update the settings. And this is the last one. So the last one is the one I added it. And I'll try to test it. See here, there's a message coming success, which means your on-premise environment, it's able to talk to your cloud tenant environment. Okay, so this is the item we have added. Now, next what we need to do, so we have to create an account here. So here you have to create your on-premise account. So I'll say, uh, this is my on-premise environment. So maybe, you know, many, if you have many IS, right, and you wanted to differentiate what is that IS, so then I'll just give some name. For example, here I'll say store IS environment. And then there's a description which I'll copy that as well. And this tenant alias, you have to specify your tenant environment, which is my uh, one is my cloud tenant environment, which is the one we just created it. Other settings, I will just leave that one as a default and I'll save changes. And it's asking run as user as well, which I'll select it as an administrator. And then I'll save changes. So I saved it and also I'll try to run it. So this is the one I have created just now. I'll try to run it. See here, it's a valid environment and it's able to connect and also we have enabled it. So this is the one I have connected as an account. So now uh, if I wanted to upload, right? So first time you have to click this one. See here, upload on-premise account on tenant for stage development. This will replace your account. So this is the first time I'm doing. So I'll just click upload and I'll give OK. So once that is done, so you'll be able to see this one last uploaded time, which is 9.35.02. So now what we have done, so we have configured the tenant connection, this one where we have given our username and password and tenant URL. And then account, I have given a on-premise account environment where I have assigned my tenant alias and then I have tested and I have uh, given this upload option as well. So now what I'll do, I'll just go to application. So this is a place I'm going to create application and uh, I'll just go to my environment. So this is the demo package I've created. So for example, for that, we need to create a, or we need to define a cloud application. See here, it will show the list of non WM packages here. I'll give here as a, my app, okay? So my app name is demo app. There I'm going to associate my service, which is add two numbers. Okay, so this is the package I'm just going to define an application. So this app is I have created just now. So now I have to click this upload. So once you click this upload, right? And it's asking uh, to select the account. So I'm just selecting the first account, which is the stage development. And uh, this is the environment. I'll just upload it. Uploading application definition will replace. Okay, so this is the first time I'm doing just clicking the upload. So once you see upload, right? So this will show the cloud simple. And also it will show the last uploaded time as well. So now this demo app is created and you will be able to see this demo app and this service inside your cloud environment. So that is what we did now. So I'll just go to my cloud environment. I'll try to create some sample workflow. My uh, add two numbers workflow. Okay, I just cancelled it. So I'll just create or I'll just say um, my new project demo okay and then i'll click create okay the session is expired so here there's a username which i configured in my tenant account right the same username and password only i'm giving it here to log in as well and i'll create a workflow my new project demo i'll create so in this demo we are just seeing how to invoke on-premise service from your cloud environment. So I'll just create a workflow, create a new workflow. So in the project, we are creating a workflow. So here also I can call any kind of uh, integration services and uh, other connectors, all those stuff. But in this workflow, what we are doing is how to connect from cloud to our on-premise service. So here uh, is a start and end. Here I'm going to search. Uh, we have given some demo app, right? See here, demo app is coming here which we have uploaded from our on premise. So this is coming as a connector. So now I'll map this demo app to end. 
so now what we are going to do is this demo app is running in our on premise right so for that we are going to pass some input see this is our environment and i'll just click next see here number one number two and all it's a input or metadata of our services right so that i'll pass it here i'll say 20 plus 10 i'll click next and uh, this is the input data input metadata and then i'll click done so now we have created a workflow i'll rename this workflow cloud to on prem on premise and then i'll save this one and then i'll try to run as well and uh, earlier right when i execute uh, integration server the logs right we'll go to server now current time is around 9 38 and i'll try to run this service i saved it i'm going to run this workflow so now the workflow has been started and you'll be able to see this uh, animation going here and it's complete now and you are able to see uh, workflow testing completed and you'll be able to see the log from here as well the execution history you can see it from here so now the time is 9 39 uh, this is my on-premise instance which is running with this port in my local server i'll refresh this log and you'll be able to see here 93906 output value is 30 because of from cloud environment right i have given a value as input as 20 plus 10 and it's concatenated or it's added the value and then it gave the sum output as 30 so this way you can uh, create a connector basically what we have done so we, we have defined the application from this particular page we have defined the application from this page and then we have uploaded it here so once you upload you will be able to use in the workflow and from the workflow you will be able to run it as well okay so now i have executed here only and whatever the input i passed right even i wanted to change that to 22 10 and then i'll click done and then i'll save this workflow and then i'll try to run this workflow so now i have given a different value and if i go and see the server log in my local instance correct so this is running in my local and uh, So earlier we saw is 939 right and you'll be able to see now the logs for 940 as well okay so i'll try to refresh it it's executed only so i'll just try to run it again running now i'll try to refresh it here see here output value is 32 which means it's able to execute your on-premise service which is running in your local host from the cloud environment so this way you can configure your tenant details this tenant details and account details right it's kind of a one-time setup and whenever you wanted to call any service in your on-premise then you can create an app and you can push it to your cloud environment and after that from your workflow you will be able to invoke your services which is running in your on-premise environment so this is very helpful when you have some cloud environment where you are doing all cloud to cloud integration and some integration you wanted to connect your on-premise integration in order to talk to your on-premise application then what we can do is uh, for example assume you have on-premise integration which is connected to your on-premise sap then what you can do is you can run your on-premise flow service from cloud which will talk to your on-premise sap system to in order to do a, any kind of on-premise to on-premise integration so this way you can connect your cloud workflow to your on-premise integration using web methods thank you